Do you so have to still wind through my pelvic bone, though, and serve it to some royal family somewhere? With the pelvic bone? Or can I keep, like, keep using you, it? You can keep using it. Oh. We're not serving people to people. No, no, no. Just, well, this isn't just a reminder. Set, I'm just using this it. This topic has come up far too often. If anything, <laughs> this is just resourcefulness, not wastefulness. God, be a little more green, or whatever that means. I don't know. I've been hitting the sauce pretty hard. <laughs> so I guess there's no potatoes on fine. Right. So for the audience, the okay. introductions, I think we're in the middle of. <laughs> yes. Uh, I play Famous Sage. Uh, he's very nondescript, actually. Uh, not ugly by any means, but normal. You pass him in the crowd. Uh, he does take care to be clean, and he uh, he has his bow nearby uh, to grab and carries a knife, and doesn't appear out of the norm. Except the hole taking care to be clean, which is unusual in most parts of creation. Yeah. Paragon, of course, being somewhat of an exception to the immense luxury that it enjoys. Who's next? Because I said so. Okay. You know what, Porter? He's team leader, dude. So, I'm the kitchen porter. Sharp with two bows. Two bows. <laughs> yeah, speak up. <laughs> Whatever the hell that says. Sharpened tuberose. 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 Are you sure it's not artisan? Yes. <laughs> That's a common mistake, actually. It is? Yes. So artisan to, art, uh, to artesian. I, the first difference, time I've heard it. Oh, the difference is only an eye. That's fair. So it's uh, easier for your eyes to skip over it. Yeah. Especially for someone dyslexic. Shut up, Kyle. That's <laughs> true. Which most people nowadays are. <laughs> oh man. I wanted to make a joke, then I was like, no, I don't want to get started. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah. You want some wine, buddy? <laughs> no. So describe your character. There you go. Yeah, I could. Um. It's ambidextrous. Um. He can write die keys. <laughs> So, is he tall, short, stout, average height, muscular, scrawny, ugly, cute? Would you bone him in an alley? <laughs> or would you bone him in an alley? Why do you have a bone in an alley? No, he boned you in the alley. He's a butcher. <laughs> so he's a rapist. <laughs> no, the other I got a bone to pick with you. Oh god. Thank <laughs> god. I knew it was only a matter of time. <laughs> what a terrible. <laughs> I mean, it's like, I'm impressed, actually. I thought it was pretty much sooner than that. Right? right. <laughs> also, I'm gonna tell you right now, Kyle, the camera probably didn't pick up anything of what you just said. So it's just gonna be, describe your character in silence. <laughs> I might literally <laughs> make the audio track, so it's just nothing. You're a Put it to crickets. You can see his lips moving and it's just crickets. Like, <laughs> alright. I mean, he can apply the cricket sound really loud. Anyways. Alright, let's just go to the next one. <laughs> Yay! Um, my character's name is Frothing Spoon. He's the sexy baker. <laughs> um, it, he, he's very attractive. Um, and he does take sex seriously. It's got an intimacy for it. Yeah, <laughs> positive one. Um, <laughs> um, he's moderately tall, I'd say about six, six feet. Um, Is he average build. Classically beautiful or otherwise beautiful? What do you mean? Uh, classic. Oh, for the record, anytime I refer to classically beautiful, I mean uh, Greek proportions. Okay. So that statuesque kind of the golden ratio. Yeah, 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 et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. A penis that's not grotesquely large. That would be yes. Or knocked off by the pope. Or knocked off by the pope. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah. Classically classically beautiful. Perfect. In some parts of creation that's not pretty, but whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I always like to get a feel for what you guys want your character to feel like. Your appearance that is your appearance that 
irrevocably in how you look, but mm -hmm. it's always what nice. could be good or bad. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So he's giant. He's a, he's a big one. He's a big one. He's a big one. He's got arms that make him look like he's made of pure muscle, and he has a gut that says he knows every ale in the land. <laughs> That is an appropriately legendary exalted description. <laughs> oh. And no, I'm not going to wait for it. <laughs> oh my. We have... Ah, yeah. My character's name is Aspen Dream, and her concept is a brewmaster. She is slightly stocky. She may or may not also be a drunken master that nobody else knows about. So we, we do, your fellow party members, do not know that you have that mastery? Uh, no, no. Okay. Most because of the time I think I should tell you, but then I kind of forget because I'm quality controlling. <laughs> it's fine. You get to that, like, actually that come right until she's completely wasted. I, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and then by that time she forgets. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, I got it, I got it, it's fine. fine. <laughs> she gets to that point where she starts wanting to tell the truth to everyone and just like... Telling everyone how much she loves them, and then she <laughs> takes another sip, and she's gone. <laughs> like, no, man, this I love you! This is a fine, like, drop-off. Yeah. <laughs> this is the plateau and she has. Try this <laughs> thing! It tastes like amazement and rainbows. It tastes and like ambrosia! I don't even, I don't even. So, yeah. Awesome. Need to, That's uh, that. I need to go that one more. Ta-da! It's floating turkey. So, it's a floater. <laughs> it's a floater. Just about to say that. <laughs> <laughs> they easily entertain themselves. Is I know, right? <laughs> is Am actually adult? So you guys have agreed to undertake a journey to an oasis two days away uh, in the desert. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, buddy. Mainly where oasis are. Yes, generally speaking. <laughs> generally, no one knows this. in the desert. Um, <laughs> and two days away. Yes, yeah. but every oasis is two days away. <laughs> That's the low. Well, well, word. Um, <laughs> to for edification for the audience, however, uh, Paragon is a city in the savanna of the south. So to say that it is in the desert means that you are crossing geographical boundaries. Geographical? No, geological boundaries. Sorry. Okay. Um, and that you're leaving behind the comforts of a savanna, the ready game, the somewhat accessible water, um, etc., and engaging in the climactic travails of a desert. We'll need to stock up. This is why you're not a botanist. Yes, indeed. This is why I'm still... But I know all of the rocks. Of course I'm a botanist. For those who curious, that's from a terra firma crowd. Yeah. Uh, we did. So I can get us a cart. I can't trust this guy to drive it. Uh, he's done it before. Hasn't put us into a ditch yet. Uh, are there off. ditches in the desert? There are dunes. Ooh, there are sand traps. One. Sand traps. Yeah. Oh, sand, sand traps. Yeah, that's a problem. Quick sand. Mm -hmm. that's all I wouldn't go so far as to say there's no water. There's spice. <laughs> uh, and then we will need lots it of works. water, and I'll bring a bunch of my specialty dry foods. Dry yeah. foods! Uh, if you want something tasty, bring it yourself. You can't hide your <laughs> It's bat country. Did you just kill a bat? I'm about to bake something in the desert. Aha! Just shove it under a dune, and then when you come back in a couple of days, whoop! Baked! Yes. <laughs> Some baked grizzles! I'm pretty sure I put a little yeah, bit somewhere. Yeah, don't trust that to be there. Aha! Let's just drop a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Something will have eaten. Na, na, na. And likely something will have eaten what he has eaten it. <laughs> <laughs> Tomb baked croissants. No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Only for the finest. Very <laughs> chill. <laughs> baked Ooh. in a royal mausoleum. Yeah. That actually a really good idea to chill wine. I'd rather not get arrested. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I think. What's wrong with croissants? Oh my gosh, shut up. <laughs> I'm sorry, please continue. I forget how much you lay behind the conversation. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and we forgot. <laughs> Forgot. This is why I'm still poor. I understood when I was in the game. Right. Uh, I'm gonna go make those <laughs> needs. Oh, okay. Yes. Get I'm making an assortment of dried sort of meats for our rations. Okay. I'll make some uh, dried bread. Like. Yeah. 
Sure. It hurts your bread. Like, it hurts your soul. <laughs> like, how about I make this delicious bread and then dry it out? <laughs> try to make some yeah. yucky wet stick. Bone meal? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um. I can't. Okay. Isn't that my It's the. Really? Most flavor part of the bone! Mmm! Yes. You know, I hear mm. they make uh, chocolate out of that somewhere. They do. I know. Do you want to try? I don't know. <laughs> I'm having bone meat. I would bring chocolates on the way, but. They'll probably oh my god. Yeah. yeah. It's not a probably. <laughs> 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 So we don't have Just portable refrigeration yet. Bring a cup. Bring a cup. Bring a cup. Bring a cup. <laughs> Put the chocolate it's chocolate in it. This is how fondue got started. <laughs> <laughs> Desert traveling with nicer foods. <laughs> Cheese, chocolate, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know that's uh, going to be a serious uh, game. The worst part is the cheese might actually melt. <laughs> yeah. Oh my <laughs> Jesus. I take it back. Don't bring any extra tasty food. It's only going to be like a four day trip, five day trip. Unless. Someone we'll messes up, and then it'll be longer, and you probably won't make it. As long as our porter doesn't break your leg again. How did you break your leg last time? Very carefully. Why? By not being very careful. Running from the friggin' potatoes. By the way, are those potatoes finished yet? No! <laughs> I'm you need to go and die. Make some meat because I think we're gonna need stuff that's stronger. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna finish what I was doing. <laughs> so you're making me everything. Mini you load up the cart. You <laughs> also have the pie. Yes. Uh, have my bow with me. My knife with me. I'm good. Yes. Presumably you all have your equipment, various equipment. Um. I have a parasol. No. <laughs> Parasol's been invented. Yes, actually. There's not one big enough for you. No, it's just a regular sized one. I think so. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. At least he thinks so. <laughs> um, so, so special. <laughs> Does anyone invest in clothing? Yeah. I'm always up to. <laughs> Styling. I gotta make appearances, yeah. Yeah, yeah buddy. <laughs> So your baker is the one who considers the fact that you might need specialized clothing for the desert. Mm -hmm. I have no resources. Because, yes, it's actually these cars. Um, and so you pull the donkey back to stop the donkey because, for all you know, there's a fucking snake somewhere, like, right here, because the desert wind is constantly moving the sand, so there's still snake tracks and probably something. Um, so you stop the, the donkey, which then of course causes the cart to bump into the donkey, which then of course causes you to pitch forward on the donkey, which then looks at you in the eye and like, what the fuck are you doing? Because donkeys. <laughs> because donkeys. Donkeys are judgmental. <coughs> yeah, they hide. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> judgmental whores. The guys, the, the, the snake tracks. Mm. Fuck the snakes. <laughs> <laughs> um... People and writers for the rest of you. I'll be it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh where is? Yes, I'm looking for a desert travel cloak. That's huge. Yeah. Where are they? They surprisingly have here? them on hand. Uh, so a desert be, travel cloak. I hug the tiny lady oh. that runs this clothing store in happiness. Yes, yes, dear. We get our fair share of money. She was so cute. What is selective conception? Uh, uh, that means you can choose when you get pregnant or when you get someone else pregnant. Wow, that's cool. I know, right? Wait, and it's when it's one. one. Ever. <laughs> Only one dot. Wait, no. Yes. Science, so figure this out. Selective conception. So, so important. I can choose when because I'm pregnant. Exactly. Oh, that's Actually, a good one. It's kind of like, it's kind of like, it's kind of like a... a uh, uh, the no, it needs to be switch. And so that yeah. they put the little yeah. device yeah. on the tubes, and, for and you 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 switch it, and it clamps it so that the the smart can not tell semen. Oh. And then you flip yeah, it again, and it opens up, and then you can. Or they can. And actually, most animals can delay conception. I wish I had something like that. 
Yeah. All I know are the dentatas where you just you can drink your own semen without being gay. Like horrible things happen, or something horrible is going to happen on the script. Family channel. It's just like this weird. It snaps. So that urban myth, totally true. Wikipedia, please. I think I'm That's bonuses for number thing. Okay. I actually think that you don't need to roll for difficulty one in memory rolls. Okay. And you get a bonus for anything higher, but. Double check it. Okay, I'm not getting lost. <laughs> no, you have direction sensor. Yep. Yeah. Perfect <laughs> resistance. At least someone does. Yes, so you have a specialty in resistant hazards. You know that up is up. Which the fact that you broke your leg is kind of impressive at that point. That shit was super yeah. careful. Yeah. And the fact that nobody else broke their fucking legs means that they the only shit. Yeah. You get a golf touch, yeah. Look at that. I'm running for the freaking potato. And everyone just kind of brushes that off. Like, I don't know what that means. But no, nor do you want to. No. No. No, nor do you want to. Do not investigate the potatoes. <laughs> oh, gonna be don't do it. potatoes. <laughs> um, Why well, find your goose? Who are we talking to? Oh, right. But I, there's potatoes you Same person you were talking to last week. I know, right? Should I be worried? Don't tell them which one it is. Okay. Before we continue with Act 2. So you guys continue. Oh, it's in the fridge. <laughs> Can you bring me my wine? Any glass? <laughs> and the opener. He was just gonna drink it out of the bottle. Speaking of wine. No, he's got a glass. Wine, yes. buddy. We don't have any beer, do we? Damn it. Nope. Cause fuck you. Uh, for those of you watching at home, this is uh, this is character. Yeah, that's what this is for. <laughs> Well, we at least you'll have like photographic okay. proof that this happened here before. I don't know where the opener is, but I'll bring this over. And then he probably put it back in the drawer that she found it in because it was actually where it belonged to us. Yeah, I know. I looked in the drawer. Oh, didn't make me a cut. I might have left it. Oh, I thought Bee said that you had it. No, glad. B was telling the people at home what her cup was. Yeah. Because this is totally a character problem. Shut up, pal. I'm sorry, I love you. The camera can probably pick up your animal noises better than your speaking voice. Yeah. Are you? Definitely. Oh my god. It's so great. Like, everybody's like a dog within a five mile radius who's watching this is just gonna flip out. Good job, Kyle. <laughs> Fuck, it's coming I'm so glad I came here. I want to. Already there, yeah. How did we get there? Like. Derek's for the moon bear. It was in the night drawer. How did I get here? That's where it goes! That's not where it goes. Why is that not where it goes? Because it's not a shark. <laughs> it's a pointy. That's not a shark. <laughs> I mean, but if you really, point? really wanted to and tried hard enough. The night drawer is for sharks. But. So, so you it's not my house. That's right, I remembered his last name. That's um, right, Riohan's coming after you, Mobius! Nobody knows what that means. That's what makes it I know, right? <laughs> Not so far as that player actually watches this. And I'm like, oh my god! <laughs> Wait, shit. They mentioned that it's not fair! Um, okay. I'm famous! Oh, stop. Amazing. Right, so you guys are now. Uh, the first day sees you through the majority of the savannah. It is, again, the heat does not abate, but as you guys are moving into the desert, there is strangely more moisture in the air. Um, it's going to make it muggier. Yes. The. It's a marsh. Yeah. Excuse me. The dry grasses of the savannah, which hide countless predators, for the most part, leave you alone. So fairly, while the roads are not nice, per se, while there aren't very many roads to begin with, um, it's not a barren trail. You're not striking out into the endless wastes. So you make very, very good time, especially without the interruption. Um, such that by the time the sun sets, and you guys are setting up camp, 
got everything set up and sorted. And then you have free time around the campfire between when it's time to actually sleep and when you're done with dinner. Uh, so much so that something about today reminds Aspen or Apron or both of you uh, about a previous situation. 